Aw oh man, time flies so fast. It's been almost a full year since I uploaded my Google Easter Eggs video, which quite a few people took the time to watch. Of course, that video doesn't include all the Easter Eggs you can possibly find, and in the meantime, I've had the opportunity to play around with some other ones, so I thought, why not share them with you guys? For example, here's one. If you search for Bletchley Park, you'll get its name decoded in the Knowledge Graph, which is a knowledge base that Google uses to enhance its search engine's results with semantic search information. Bletchley Park was the central site for British codebreakers during World War II, and nowadays, it's open to visitors as a museum. In case you haven't noticed, intro's over. These are Fun Google Secrets, Part 2. If you type is Google down in the search box or ask it via voice search, Google will answer with a simple no. That is, unless it really is. Type Conway's Game of Life in the search box, hit enter, and the search engine will generate a running configuration of the game. The Game of Life is a zero player game that is determined by its initial state and requires absolutely no further input. If you search for the word kerning, Google will add spaces between the letters of that word in the results. Google can also give you random fun facts. Just tell it you're feeling curious or simply type fun facts in the search box, hit enter, and you'll get one on the top of the results. For more fun facts, just click on ask another question and feed your curiosity as much as you please. Google knows quite a lot. For example, it knows what sound a zebra makes. Replace zebra with the name of another animal and find out what other animal sounds Google knows. And by the way, it appears that as of now, it doesn't know what sound a fox makes. But you can ask it, what does the fox say for a whole different kind of answer. If you're up for something a bit more interactive, type spinner in the search box and hit enter. You'll get a spinning wheel that you can, well, spin. You can also adjust the amount of numbers on the wheel by clicking on this drop down menu. Speaking of spinning objects, you can also play a game of dreidel. Simply tell Google to play dreidel through the search box or via voice search. One of my personal favorites is the Super Mario Easter egg I showed you guys in my initial Fun Google Secrets video. Here's something kinda similar. If you search for Sonic the Hedgehog, you'll get a knowledge graph with the popular Sega hero on it. Start clicking on him and see what happens. Google has quite a few Easter eggs hidden in its calculator. A search for the loneliest number will have the calculator display the number 1. Same will happen if you happen to ask Google about the number of horns on a unicorn. But the really cool thing here is that you can actually calculate these results. So if we say loneliest number plus number of horns on a unicorn, the calculator will display the number 2 or 0 if we say minus instead of plus. Pretty cool. Before we wrap up this video, I'll leave you guys with two more cool Google Easter eggs that you can have fun playing with. First one is Solitaire. Type it in the search box, hit enter, and enjoy a classic game in easy or hard mode. Once you're done with that, try playing a game of tic-tac-toe. The game will probably start on medium difficulty, but crank it up to impossible and see if you can beat the computer. In case you're asking yourself if it can actually be done, you can find a hint in the difficulty name. But that would be all for this time. Of course, Google has a lot more Easter eggs hidden in its different services, but a video that holds the viewer's attention can only be so long. So be sure to check out my first Google Easter eggs video, and in case you know some that I didn't mention, be cool and share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and maybe share it with your friends. For more content in the future, just hit that little subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.